Hey, what's up you guys? If you're gonna be towing a trailer with your Kia Sportage, you're gonna need trailer wiring. It's required by the law. So let's go ahead and break down that install for you. You'll need the tools seen here to complete your installation. All right guys, we're gonna start in our cargo area. We're gonna need to get to our taillight harness behind our driver side panels. So we're gonna start by removing the floor coverings. And then we'll remove this floor trunk tray. Right now we'll be removing the scuff panel right here. We have two pins on both sides that we'll be removing. To remove the pin, you're going to remove the center section with the Phillips screwdriver, and then we'll go ahead and pull it out. And then we'll remove our scuff panel by pulling up, and it's held in by these clips right here. Now at the bottom of the driver's side panel, we're gonna remove two Phillips screws. All right, now we're gonna remove this cargo hook right here. We'll pull up on the hook. And then using a flathead screwdriver, we'll pop open the cover. And that exposes a Phillips screw that we'll remove. Right now we're going to pull back on our driver's side panel. We're just going to get behind the plastic right here. And it's held in by these three pins right here. Now we're gonna need to remove our driver's side tail light. We're gonna start by removing this cover. We're gonna use a flathead screwdriver. And that exposes two Phillips screws that we'll remove. All right guys, now we're gonna go ahead and remove our driver's side tail light. Now the, this tail light is pretty difficult to get off. It's really tight in there. There's a clip right back here that gives us a lot of trouble. It, it removes by pushing straight back. And when you do it by hand, it really doesn't give you a lot of room. So a trick to kind of help you, we're just gonna take a, a flathead screwdriver. If you have a big one, that works best. So we're gonna pry it right behind this area right here. And then we're gonna pull out like that. And it came out nice and easy and these three clips are holding it in. Now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect our tail light harness. We're gonna push down on this tab and then we'll set this tail light aside. Now we're gonna remove the grommet on our driver's side. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take our T connector with the red and brown wire and we're gonna bring it in behind our panel and push it in where we pulled that grommet out. Now we'll take our T-connector and plug it into our tail light harness. Now to put our grommet back into place, we're gonna cut a slit into it for our wires to sit into. So we're just gonna cut it halfway and we'll put our wires into that slit and we'll reinstall our grommet. And we're gonna seal that slit with some black silicone that is included with our kit. Now we're gonna go ahead and plug our tail light back in. And we'll go ahead and reinstall our tail light.
All right, now back inside our driver's side panel, we're gonna remove this grommet at the bottom here. Now we're gonna take our yellow and green wire and we're gonna push it down through that hole. Now we're gonna ground our white wire to our vehicle. We're just gonna do it right here on the side using the included tap screw. Now going underneath our vehicle, we're gonna remove this underbody panel on the driver's side. Is we're gonna start by removing these two clips right here. And then we have a third pin right behind the wheel well. And then we're gonna go ahead and pull down on the underbody panel. So with the underbody panel gone, we now have access to our T connector that we pushed down. We'll be connecting it to our vehicle harness right here. We're just gonna slide it out of its slot. And we'll push down on this tab right here. And then we'll go, we'll go ahead and plug in our T connector. and then we'll go ahead and reattach it to its clip. All right, now that we have everything into place, we're ready to run our power wire. We're gonna run this wire from our battery to our module box, and we're just gonna route it through this same grommet that we went through. And so let's go ahead and head, on, head up to the engine compartment. All right, our battery is located in the engine compartment on the driver's side right here. We're gonna go ahead and open up the positive terminal and we're gonna attach our wire to this post right here. So we're gonna remove the nut off of that post using a 10 millimeter socket. All right, now we're gonna connect our fuse holder to that post and we just wanna make sure that we don't have a fuse in there yet and then we'll bring our terminal underneath towards our post. And now we'll attach our terminal ring. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and bring our wire down underneath the vehicle. If we look at this reservoir right here, we can follow the brake lines all the way down through safely. So we'll go ahead and start pushing that down. All right, underneath the vehicle, your wiring will come up right next to the brake lines and we'll just go ahead and pull it through all the way. All right, now to get to the rear of the vehicle, we're gonna follow the brake lines which are underneath these panels, and we're just gonna come up to here for now. To get underneath this panel, we're gonna remove these two screws using a 10 millimeter socket. And with our wire behind it, we'll go ahead and reinstall the bolts. Yeah. 
Now we're going to come around here and follow our brake lines above this cross member. And then we'll bring it over this cross member right here. All right, now that we've reached our grommet, we're gonna go ahead and zip tie our wire to this harness right here. And now we're gonna go ahead and push our wire up into the cargo area. Right now that we have the power wire in our cargo area, let's go ahead and hook it up to the black wire on our module box. We're gonna be using our heat shrink buck connector. And next we'll use our butane torch for the heat shrink. All right, now let's go ahead and show you where you can store your four flat wire. So you have two options. You can leave it in the cargo area and just pull it out of the trunk when you need to use it, or you can bring it down towards the hitch and we'll go ahead and show you how you can do that. And then we'll take our four flat and we'll push it down through that same hole. All right, now that we have all of our wires through, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall our grommet. But first we're gonna need to cut a slit through the middle And then we'll bring all of our wires into our grommet and we'll go ahead and reinstall it. And then we're going to use some black silicone to seal that cut. All right, now we're going to go ahead and take our module box and stick it behind our panels. And now that we're done in the cargo area, we're gonna put it all back together. All right, now that we have our four flat underneath our vehicle, we'll go ahead and bring it towards our receiver. There's a tab right here that we're gonna go under to keep it away from the exhaust. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and mount our four flat harness using a four flat mounting bracket. This does not come with the kit, but you can pick it up at your closest U-Haul center or at uhaul.com. All right, now we're gonna line up our bracket and then we're gonna drill our first hole using a 3 16 drill bit. And then we'll bring our first screw into place. And then we'll line up our second hole and we'll drill that one.
and then we'll tighten it using a 3 8 socket. Next we'll go ahead and attach our dust cover. And then we'll bring it into the mountain, mounting bracket. And then we'll reinstall our driver side underbody panel. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and go back to our fuse holder and pop off the cap and we're going to insert a 10 amp fuse and then we'll tuck it into the side. All right, now that your trailer wiring is all powered up, you're all ready to tow a trailer. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or need more information, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com.